world's fastest newspaper presses. And we have them right here in Australia. Rupert Murdoch, News Limited's chairman and chief executive, initiated the biggest order in the world. So big they named the presses after the company that bought them. A technological breakthrough for News Limited's international publishing empire. Eighteen man roll and colour presses are revolutionising newspaper production across Australia with print speeds of 80,000 copies per hour. Five in Sydney, four in Brisbane, three already operating in Adelaide. Part of an unprecedented $1 billion national modernisation program. And of course, six in Melbourne. Presses capable of producing close to 480,000 newspapers an hour. Automated publishing from real delivery to dispatch. Best newspaper colour every time. Having spent all this money, we're obviously looking for growth and we see that coming from perhaps two areas. Circulation, a more contemporary newspaper, a more modern newspaper, we think will we'll, um, be rewarded by circulation growth. The more important area, of course, is the advertising growth. And uh, I believe this is a critical issue, not only for the Herald and Weekly Times, but for the newspaper industry generally. We've got to a point in our history where we have to see a growth in certain categories, advertising volume, and I believe that the colour is, will do that for us. So the question that the advertiser has, certainly the national advertiser, is OK, how consistent is this colour going to be? What is the quality going to be around the country? Our answer to that is that it's going to be consistently very good right around the country. If we can produce that, I think we'll see the advertising growth. Westgate Park. Built at a cost of $340 million, it stands today as Australia's and possibly the world's most advanced newspaper production facility. 50,000 square metres of floor space, bigger than the Melbourne cricket ground. A press hall equivalent to four storeys high. 1,500 piles were driven to a depth of 36 metres to anchor the press foundations to the basalt base beneath the former bed of Melbourne's Yarra River. And this is the length of the press line. 185 metres of tunnel forming part of the foundations of the presses. When Rupert Murdoch ordered the presses, our new printing complex was nothing more than an idea in bud. One thing that was clear was that the existing Flinders Street building could not accommodate the new presses. And the old presses just had to go. A new site had to be found. The Herald and Weekly Times publications were still being printed at the 70-year-old Flinders Street building on presses Rupert Murdoch's father, Sir Keith Murdoch, bought almost half a century ago. was here on the once barren sand flats of the old Melbourne airport that we found a city site big enough and ideally located to accommodate our new Herald and Weekly Times headquarters. Nearly six hectares of vacant land in the shadow of the Great Westgate Bridge and only five kilometres from the Melbourne CBD. It was purchased in October 1988, just one year after News Limited's acquisition of the Herald and Weekly Times. News Limited's technical experts and Herald and Weekly Times' own project team quickly combined with architects, draftsmen, engineers and builders to plan, build and install Westgate Park. Site works began in 1989. Within three months, the first of 20,000 cubic metres of concrete was being poured. space foundations are specially isolated from the rest of the building to prevent the transmission of noise and vibration. By April 1992, the plant was ready to receive the first of its Newsman 40 presses.
presses were installed progressively, with installation being completed in March 93. A team of Man Roland engineers and printing instructors from Germany were in Melbourne for 12 months working alongside our people to install, commission and assist with training of our staff. On March the 1st, 1993, Westgate Park was in full production and Flinders Street production ceased. Today, made-up pages are transmitted electronically in digital form to Westgate by Hell Pressfax equipment. The pages are received in negative form and scanned to automatically preset the ink and water values on the presses for that page. The negative is then fed into our three DuPont plate making systems which can produce 750 newspaper pages per hour for delivery by our plate delivery system direct to the presses. From the trucks on one side delivering reels of newsprint to the trucks on the other side accepting their bundles of newspapers at 24 loading positions, the whole production process flows smoothly through computerized machinery, robots and conveyors. A double vacuum headed automatic crane unloads reels from the trucks and places them on a conveyor for barcoding, inventory control and storage. Westgate's reel store can hold 12,000 tons of newsprint in five high reel stacks. Enough for eight weeks production of News Limited's Victorian papers. These flashy little fellas are AGVs, automatic guided vehicles. Westgate has 14 of them, guided by wires buried in the concrete floor. When reels are called for by a reel stand operator, the paper store crane system automatically locates and delivers the required reel by AGV to the reel preparation station where it is stripped and prepared for splicing. Oh, and AGVs also clear away the plant's paper waste daily. It's not all fun being a robot. The press makeup for each production run is entered via computer terminal and is automatic. As is the paper webbing up. There are six reel stands for each press, with two reels on each reel arm and two reels on Von Roll dollies at each side of the reel stand. There are more than 100,000 signatures at each reel stand at the start of production when running straight. The entire press operation is controlled from consoles in the quiet room. We elected to use consoles instead of computer terminals to allow press commands to be issued faster. A rare case of analog being quicker than digital. The consoles were designed by News Limited in association with an Australian company, Reliance Automation. Everything possible was done to buy Australian. As a result of this News Limited's policy, Man Roland commissioned Reliance Automation to supply our press control systems, and a new very successful international relationship has been formed. The success of the project is in no small way due to the outstanding rapport and cooperation between Reliance Automations and Man Roland's engineering groups. The Australian content for the project was greater than 85%. The press operates under full state-of-the-art PLC control, with separate PLCs dedicated to each unit and folder. These PLCs communicate with each other via a high-speed communication data highway network. 
all the press controls, which consist of some 4,000 digital and 1,200 analog IOs, are multiplexed via high-speed data lines to each unit and folder PLC to give instantaneous response to any press command. The automatic presetting system comprises the precise setting of all ink keys, register motors, turner bars, in-feed tension, web detector severer allocation and thread-up paths. It also sets up the correct unit mode of operation together with the selection of the water to ink speed curves. Full fault alarm and production data recording has been provided in the form of a visual CRT display and hard copy printout for maintenance and management purposes. From here, ink systems, automatic paper feeds and press speeds are all computer controlled. Operators constantly monitor and adjust, checking print quality and color definition. Quality control all the way. The press is driven by five 185 kilowatt, 2,666 RPM DC motors. An additional feature of the Newsman 40 press is the overshot ink fountain and changeable ink cassettes. Another team of specialist engineers at Westgate, from Ferrag, Switzerland, installed the Plant 6 VIP insert systems. As the newspapers stream from the presses, Ferrag conveyors carry them away to its own automated world, counting, collating, packaging, wrapping and barcoding the required numbers of newspapers for individual destinations. Ferag VIP is designed to take newspaper inserting from around 35,000 to 80,000 copies per hour to keep pace with the new generation of high-speed newspaper presses. VIP is a partnership which characterizes the willingness of Ferag RMO and News Corporation to be creative and to take risks in the interest of more economical production and to push something through from an original idea to commissioning. VIP has reduced the volume of equipment required. There are 16 different configurations available on the Ferag VIP system. This is just one example. A main jacket from the press can be inserted in the first VIP inserting drum with three inserts. And the pre-inserted product can then be fed online into the second inserting drum to receive another three inserts. Six preprints, magazines, supplements or brochures have now been inserted into the outer jacket of, say, the Sunday Herald Sun. A second example is that the system is online to the Newsman 40, running at 80,000 copies per hour. This stream is split to two 40,000 copies per hour. The two streams then feed papers to the heart of the VIP system, the inserting drum. This has 36 large pockets for end products of up to 300 pages broadsheet or 600 pages tabloid. Three inserts or pre-printed sections can be fed into the jacket from either the hoppers or unwinding stations before the papers are sent to the multi-cells for counting, labelling, wrapping and tying. Bundles are then automatically loaded onto trucks via the Ferag dispatch system, which travels at 37 meters per minute. And there they go. Bright, perfect copies. The Herald Sun, Australia's best-selling daily newspaper. The Australian, News Limited's national flagship. The Sporting Globe. The Weekly Times, Australia's largest selling rural newspaper, and the Sunday Herald Sun, the best of Melbourne's reading. How many did you order, sir? Madam, 500 copies of the Herald Sun, 120 Australians, three copies of the Sporting Globe, certainly wrapped, packed, labelled. By the way, just in case something blows a fuse, we have four million dollars worth of spare parts in store. And in the ultimate bid for quality control, we've installed our own water treatment plant at Westgate, despite the fact that Melbourne is blessed with the best water in Australia. 
the entire complex is air-conditioned and maintained at 23 degrees centigrade with the press and publishing area being humidity controlled to IFRA standards to control newsprint at such high speeds. News Limited have made a strong commitment to remain environmentally conscious. For example, we're draining our roof rainwater runoff to public parklands and lakes. We've planted 11,800 trees and shrubs. We have installed an LED Italia film processor chemical recycling unit and a vacuum type evaporator to treat waste chemicals for chemical recycling and garden watering. The result is pure water which can be dispersed through the normal sewerage system and cheaper operating costs by using recycled chemicals. We're using low rub soya bean based inks and have installed an experimental recycling system for our blanket wash which is based on centrifugal separation. The new working conditions are unparalleled in the history of printing in this country. There's plenty of parking for cars under the production building. Life is much more healthy and pleasant for the staff at Westgate than it was in the old Herald and Weekly Times building in Flinders Street right in the heart of the city. Light, air and space are the principal benefits of the Westgate complex. Whether they're feeling energetic or just plain hungry, Westgate provides just what its staff needs. And an ongoing need is the need for training. Training in a new generation of newspaper technology. Staff training for all states begins at News Limited's National Training Centre at Clayton, Victoria, which runs comprehensive training courses to advance established printing staff from the letterpress era to the age of automated web offset. Training continues in-house at Westgate, and then finally, on the job, where craftsmanship, teamwork and quality remain the basis of fine newspaper production. And it's not yet over at Westgate. An 18,000 square metre four floor office block to house our editorial, advertising and administration staff is on the drawing boards at this very moment. The company will decide this year on a total relocation of its entire staff to Westgate. Craftsmanship, teamwork, quality. The essence of Westgate, the constant of perfect colour.